How many guys does it take to qualify it as a bukkake? At least four? No, more. At more? least ten. And if you're gonna make a whole sequence or like a whole video out of it, you mm-hmm. need around ten to twenty. Twenty, twenty, thirty. The more the better, I guess. So it's like a small you make a, like a small pool out of it. <laughs> I've seen some, I'm like, wow. Hello and welcome listeners to another episode of Haya Podcast. We got a special one for you today. It's uh with uh, Maria Ozawa, she is an ex-Japanese adult film actress. They call them AV stars in Japan, or, or porn stars in the Western world. Uh, so Matt doesn't know who she is, but he he had to. You had to do some research on Maria. How did that go? How did that? I go? mean, that's where I'm wearing, obviously, the Pornhub merch. Yeah, Pornhub doesn't even follow Maria, by the way, because oh, really? she lost her Instagram account, and oh, then. No. Uh, but porn. So Pornhub follows me, but not Maria Ozawa. <laughs> Pretty cool. I grew up watching her. She's like my... If you told my teenage self I was going to get to interview her in like 15 years time, I'd be like, ah, fuck you. You're just kidding, right? And then it actually happened. Were you nervous? That was crazy. No, not really. She was... She was very nice. She was friendly. She's a fan. That's why she came to the show. And then uh, I... She's a, I, I knew she was a fan because when I blew up, she was tagging me and stuff in her stories. I was like, oh, she's a fan. Great. And then when I had my show there, I tested her. I was like, hey, my show's here. Would you like to, you know, come watch? And then we can do a podcast afterwards. And she was cool with it. She came. She was, she's actually pretty funny. I oh, thought it nice. was a great, great interview. Yep. Uh, very down to earth. And also, she has a sort of star power. Mm. She came backstage, right? Every everybody I gave free tickets to to my shows, they get to come backstage and just say hi. So she came backstage, and she, she just exudes this quality about her. You know, the tall, beautiful woman. Got presence. Yeah, presence and tits. <laughs> and no, no, I'm kidding, 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 <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Presents. Let's call it. Let's call it presents. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Let's call it presents. My brother's friend, who's Indonesian, was such a big fan because she's huge in Indonesia. Oh, she goes God. by Miyabi in Indonesia. She's huge. Everybody knows her. She walks on the street. Everybody knows her. So, really? my brother's friend came backstage and she was like, "Oh, can I get a photo?" I thought he wanted a photo with me at first, and then he was like, "No, no, no, no. You take the photo. I want a photo with Maria." <laughs> So uh, that was that. But you did the research for yes, Maria, you know? Did the research. It was I, interesting. I think I asked a few questions based on your research, so thank you. Oh, good. She's from Canada. Uh, she's half Canadian, half Japanese, you know? Canada, a country that hasn't granted me a visa yet. Come on! <laughs> what are you waiting for, Canada? I tried to perform there and I have had to reschedule so many times now. It's been like seven months. I know. <laughs> the Ukrainian refugees can wait. Oh, God. There'll be more coming. Just wait and do them all in with the same badge. What are you doing? Let Just let them into your country. Why are you processing a visa? Just let them in. I'm trying to say a nice thing here. I know yeah, it sounds nice. bad. But fuck their visas. Let them in. Approve my visa. Put them in a holding pattern or something. In a concentration yeah. camp for now. Okay? If you're really concerned, there'll be a news in society, which I don't think they will. So you started nice and then just... <laughs> I'm saying they won't. I'm saying don't do that. But if you need to like be like, oh, what about society? People are complaining. They we're getting overrun by Polish people. Okay, sure. Like fucking, I don't know. Do what you got to do, Canada. But approve my visa. <laughs> I am a refugee too, okay? My life sometimes, man. Sometimes I wake up and I think this is, oh, uh, I would love to have a refugee's life, you know? To not have ties to anything. It's so zen, isn't it? You don't have anything. Oh my god. You don't so have anyone. Bad. It's kind of zen. You're just free. It's not zen. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. All I'm saying is Shared you have to... the day before. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll, 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 we'll not, not mention that. Okay. Let's not mention the bad parts of being a refugee, okay? Let's just think about the, the, the positive sides, okay? There are a lot of positives to being a refugee. You live a minimalist lifestyle. But you did the research. Did Gemma find any like internet history? Do you, <laughs> do you remember the clear internet history, Matt? Well, I didn't really need to sample her work. I just had to Google, you know. Why didn't you sample her work? That's basic it. respect. It's not really <laughs> okay, to a porn star. Sample her work. At least come twice to her. That's re- basic respect. If you want to like, oh. interview a porn star, you got to at least have come twice to her work. If you want to come see my show, I've, I need to have made you laugh. Uh, the same thing. What's the difference? Would she say that, do you think? I, I think so. <laughs> She's very open about it. She jokes about it a lot, as you will hear on the podcast. Yeah, well, yeah. there you go. So without further ado, this is Maria Ozawa. So ladies and gentlemen, we have Maria Ozawa with us here today. Hey, hi. 
Hi. Yes, former Japanese porn star. <laughs> and apparently, our podcast set is as nice as the porn sets you used to work at. <laughs> I right? didn't say it's as nice. It's not as nice? <laughs> is it worse or better? <laughs> same. Same. <laughs> same. <laughs> You need to film a better porn set <laughs> because this is very basic. True. Yeah, listeners, let, let, let me show you. Let me show you. Listeners, this is what I'm seeing. Uh, there's Ben over there who runs this comedy club. And then three cameras, two lights. So you're saying this is good enough to be a porn set, Maria? I, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a bed. Just, not well, more than a bed. You need like props. What props? Different props. Like bed, you need a table, you need like oh. a big mirror, bathroom. Bathroom? <laughs> oh yeah, Japanese porn, they do that some wacky shit sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the woman always washes the guy or something. Do they do that? What, what have you been watching? I don't know. <laughs> Your videos, <laughs> the apparently. The woman, what? Washes the guy? Don't they like wash each other at the bathtub? Oh, do they wash each other? I don't remember now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I focus on the Western stuff now, Maria. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Japanese porn is too, like, there's dramatic. too much, yeah, too dramatic, too, they, they blur out the body oh, parts. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You yes, know? Yes, yes. But, yes, so you need the props, you need the, yes. the, the bedside tables, <laughs> the, the stuff. It's important. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, you are the pro. You are the pro. We'll get into that in, the, in a sec. Okay. But I always wonder, like, filming it is always, um, I'm, it looks sexy The end product looks sexy right? But I'm sure when you're filming it It just feels like people, The director is saying Cut Right And then do again Yeah You have to do that Like two three times Every shoot So it's kind of like You really More The guys They they really have to Maintain themselves right Yeah You can't just like You know Start all over again Three times in a row How, how do they maintain themselves then? I, I can't I, they, I definitely can't They <laughs> definitely so. can't <laughs> they say they just imagine about something like sexy or other porn stars they like or whatever what? that will make them, you know. While you're on set, they're imagining uh, about other porn stars. <laughs> how, what, how does that make you feel, Maria? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well what if I was imagining about other, other guys? Uh, but like, as a woman, like you, you don't need to. Yeah, not, yeah. You don't need to, you know. True, true, true. true. Yeah. But yes, Maria Ozawa, if you don't know, uh, former Japanese porn star. So give her a Google afterwards. Don't do it at work. Oh. Don't do it at work. I'm a fan. You know, I only have okay. people I'm a fan of on the podcast, you know. <laughs> and if you told my teenage self, if you told 16-year-old Nigel mm -hmm. one day I'll get to interview Maria Ozawa, I wouldn't believe you. So. <laughs> 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 You're very popular in Malaysia. Really? Malaysia? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. You're big Malaysia, Indonesia, I hear? Indonesia, yes, yes. The Philippines? Philippines, I think, yes, yes. Okay. Are you big in America? Do you think people know you there? America, I am not sure cuz but then sometimes I get like comments from the states in my YouTube. Oh. Instagram, some, but very low. Very low. Okay. Because I think well, I lived in the western world now, so most of my exposure to adult videos is western stuff. Because Japanese stuff, you know what it's like. Of course. It's very dramatic. It is, it is, it is. All the women sound like they're in pain. Pain. And then it's blurry. It's I mean, Western stuff is bad in a, in a weird way, too. It's very yeah, aggressive. Yeah, the guys are like... Let's choke me, Dad. <laughs> choke me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they sound so angry. <laughs> yeah. Right? They sound too confident, too angry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then it's, it's very aggressive. They're all like crying at the end of it. Then like, the makeup starts running oh, on their faces. Okay, because it's too intense, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. can someone make like a normal one, you know? <laughs> like right in the in middle. In between, right? Yeah. Half Japanese, half Western. Yeah. No crying, no squeaking. <laughs> yes, squeaking. <laughs> Do people like that? Is that the thing people do? I guess, I don't know why that's the trend here in Japan, but I guess like, you know, the Japanese guys, they look for cute girls, right? Not like sexy, hot, like uh. big girls. So when cute girls, you know, black hair, like look very underage <laughs> girls, <laughs> <laughs> they like that. Asian guys like that, especially in Japan. Really? So when girls are like, not squeaky, but then those sound, they feel like, you know, manly. Really? So, eh, 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 eh. Does it make you feel like a man, listeners? <laughs> no, I mean, like, they feel... They feel, oh, there's a door that needs, that needs <laughs> some oil. <laughs> 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 and what's with the blurring? What's with the blurring of the... I, I don't 
it's just strict here in Japan. Everything's so strict. But then I, I, I guess it's getting better, right? It's like very, very smaller, the blurry parts. Oh, I, like I don't know. I haven't been keeping you track should, of that. You should, you should, you should. Go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> what, what websites do you follow to learn no, about the Japanese you know porn industry? In Japan, especially around this area, there's lots of like, um, not a studio, but those like cafes that you can get your own headset. Uh-huh. Small room and watch those videos. Yes, you been there? No, no, I haven't. But I walk. Is it the ones, the shops that say DVD? Yes, on the yes, front. Yes, yes, yes. See, yes. when I see those shops, I'm like, I'm actually gonna go in there and watch an actual DVD because I don't have a DVD player anymore. Oh. So I'll actually go in there and watch like, like Jurassic Park on oh. DVD or something. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because why would you watch porn? It's so easy to get online. You don't need a DVD player. Well, yeah, but then I guess. Most of the people are like married or have like girlfriend, girl, got girlfriend, boyfriends uh-huh. at home, so they just have to go to those places and just you know, <sighs> just be like the it. rest of us and just go into the bathroom, lock the door, and watch porn in there. Okay, <laughs> if you're dating someone, you're living with them, that's what you have to do, right? True. Yeah. So, <laughs> do you watch porn yourself? Um, I used to when I was in the industry. Uh-huh. Or like my friends, we would like trade our DVDs and like watch each other's. Oh, which was kind of interesting because to, to learn or to learn, yeah, learn and then like see how who they're you know having fun with <laughs> their nails, the makeup. And then are, are they are your friends supportive? Because I'm thinking like when a woman posts a picture on Instagram, everybody is like fire emoji, fire oh, emoji, fire. yes queen, <laughs> you go girl, knock them dead girl. <laughs> So is it like that too in porn where someone gets yeah. Maria, your your friend your, gets a Maria yeah, Ozawa DVD? Yeah, we support each other. We, well, we used to support each other. Used to? Used to. Well, not anymore. We don't watch porn anymore because, uh, like, you know, all my friends are retired. I'm retired. I see. Yeah. I so. see. D- name drop some of your friends so because our listeners might want to uh, <laughs> do their own research. <laughs> Who are your um, friends? The girl, well, the one that I'm really, really close with right now is Rin Aoki. Ring Aoki. She has like this huge ass boobs. Okay. And <laughs> I don't know, just in case you like big boobs. I, 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 no, no comment. It's for my <laughs> listeners. It's for my listeners, Maria. Uh, for your listeners. Ring, <laughs> ring Aoki. Yeah, for, it's for my listeners that I'm also, you know, let me write. Writing it down. I'm writing this down for the listener. I put it in the description. Everything I do is for the listeners, you know. <laughs> this is not for me. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Great. And do you guys still keep in touch? Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. We do, we do. She still works um, at those like uh, Kebakura. Do you know Kebakura? Kebakura. Those hostess clubs. Hostess clubs, yes. yes. So we have like AV uh, hostess bars, hostess clubs, uh, where all the AV re- retired women goes there and work. To pause for a sec, listeners outside Japan, a hostess club is, is like a bar you go to where you yeah. can drink with women yes right and like then these av hostess clubs will be mm-hmm. you drink with the porn stars you yes. pay the money yes. to drink with them a little bit expensive than the usual clubs but i think it's still worth it because all the fans goes there and then like you know see their you know girl that they like okay and it, and has the interaction always is, is it respectful sometimes it really really depends like some guys are like oh my god you're like dream come true i i loved you so much for so so many years but some are like they kind of get like well we drink alcohol right so they get like spontaneous kind of rude sometimes like getting to touchy touchy which is not bad because you know Mm. that's what they think they can do but it depends i think and did you used to work in one of those places you work at a hostess bar yeah i used to before when i was like young I liked it because I already had a bar back then when I was working at that hostess bar. And it was really fun meeting your fans through yeah. those kind of lounges because, like, you could hear what they like from their perspective. And then it's like, you know, fan comments, good and bad. What What do they like from their perspective? What do they say? They like this, the whatever the title it is, they were like yeah. saying, they watched this like 30 times, 100 times. I like this, the side of your face, like the <laughs> scene, blah, 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 <laughs> your back, your tattoo and all that thing. So it's like really nice to hear those stuff, like good comments. Wow, that's very specific. It is. I mean, like imagine. I have to say I've watched your videos, but I won't, I would just be like, yeah, I like, I like your stuff. <laughs> but I never noticed, I didn't even know you had tattoos. That's how little <laughs> I paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Maria. There's, no, it's okay. <laughs> They're very, very detailed. Like they watch like every every part of your body. Wow. So that's kind of like you know. 
Okay. Sometimes stressful though. My fans need to just up their game then. Mm. My fans they see me. They just say, "Oh, I love your videos. What about my videos? Do you like this? Which side of my face? <laughs> you know, <laughs> which particular video? Do I have any tattoos? <laughs> right? My fans are not as nice as your fans. So good uh, job. Yay! Good yeah, job. I guess it's good. Yeah, uh, listeners. When Maria came to my show uh, in Tokyo, yes, eight hundred people, and you were there. Mm-hmm. And then when I put the name down on the list, uh, one of the people who worked backstage was like, they thought it was like a prank. Really? Like they were like, Maria was <laughs> like. <laughs> 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 but it, it was actually you and then one f- really funny thing was uh, my guest list people on my guest list right they get mm-hmm. to come they get to come backstage afterwards mm-hmm. so you came backstage afterwards yeah. and then uh, usually usually people want photos with me mm-hmm. when they come backstage <laughs> until Maria showed up <laughs> and then my other backstage guests w- will want a photo with her I had to take photos yeah 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 you yeah, know yeah. I was like what the <laughs> fuck it's my show <laughs> <laughs> that was really really funny that he's Indonesian, right? Yeah. He's from Indonesia, so he was like, "Yeah, everybody loves you there." And I'm like, "Thank <laughs> you, thank you." But today's not about me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I don't have an ego, mm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the show? Great. It was really, really funny. Remember, I brought my staff with. Yes. Me. Yes. She was like laughing nonstop. Oh, that's good. It was, that's it was good. Really nice. That's but good. I like the Saitama joke. The Saitama. Yeah, like it was uh, really refreshing for us also. Like, how did you know about <laughs> that small, mm. nobody goes there. Listen, Saitama is this place outside of Jap- Tokyo. It's yeah. a different prefecture. Mm-hmm. So I made fun of it saying it's a shithole, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I just asked people, really. Oh, okay. And then when they mentioned Saitama, and I, I asked them, why do you say Saitama? He says, he says, oh, it's where people live. And they say they're from Tokyo, but they're not actually from Tokyo. Yeah. If they can't afford Tokyo, they go to Saitama. <laughs> so I just use that as a reference. True. I do that for every city, though. Mm. Every city I have that, what's a shithole place? Where can I make fun <laughs> of? <laughs> some, some cities don't have a shithole place. I'm like, oh, good for you. But most cities have a place like that where it's terrible. So we, we organized this because you, you watched one of my videos and you tagged yeah. me in something. Yeah, yeah. And then my fans said, oh, Maria Ozawa loves your videos. I'm like, oh, great. That's that's fun. Um, so we just DM'd a little bit, and I was like, "Oh, I'm in Japan. Let's mm. do a podcast together," because I don't think anybody have seen you in that light before. Just talking. I, I guess you have some vlogs where you talk, but you Sometimes. don't have a conversation. Right? Yeah. yeah in yeah. English, in especially. English, yeah. It's yeah. Mostly in Japanese. And then when we we uh, we end up getting lunch, you said now you you manage a few bars around mm-hmm. the world, right? A few in the Philippines. Yes. One here, one here, and that you always wanted to to run a bar yes i always wanted to run a bar because it's so nice meeting different people right and talking i like talking and then i like drinking also so why not (laughs) perfect perfect job for you perfect job for me yeah and then what made you get into porn in the first place then um actually when i was like graduating from high school i had a choice of going back to canada or staying in japan uh yes you would want to go back to canada right maria (laughs) Maria's half Canadian, half Japanese. Yeah, nobody wants to go back there. It's so far. By the way, old. Canada still hasn't approved my visa. <laughs> that dicks. See, I think it's because go to Canada. exactly. I don't want to go there. Just give me the visa. I just want to perform there and leave. Oh, for the for the yeah okay, for the show. Okay, okay. And they think I want to be like an illegal immigrant there and overstay my visa. I don't want to <laughs> live there. <laughs> It's too cold and nothing yes. happens. Nothing happens there. Yeah, you don't matter, Canada. <laughs> Drake and Justin Bieber, guess what? They're in LA now. Okay? So give me my fucking visa, Trudeau. Trudeau. Uh, but that, that's why they don't give you the visa because I insult them every episode. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I still haven't gotten it. And I was supposed to perform there in March. Oh. So I had to reschedule. Mm-hmm. And then now it's moved to October. But now I'm st- I still haven't gotten my visa. Oh my God. So it's July now. And now I'm like, Ugh, three more months. Am I, am I going to really get there? Oh. And people got so pissed at me. I, I, I said on social media that we re- rescheduled. But then people, they still, maybe they didn't see my tweet or the venue, the mm. s- theater didn't email out. They still showed up to the place. <gasps> no. And then I was in I was in London. I just woke up to like two angry tweets. What the fuck? Where were you, Nigel? We came all the way here. We drove three hours to see you. Oh, no. Yeah. So That's Canada, so- get your shit together. Give me the, give me the visa. Give me- yeah. yeah. Give you the visa. So okay. So <laughs> you so didn't want to go back to Canada. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed I love to make it about me? You know. <laughs> it, that's good though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's good. I'm a I'm a comedian. I, I need yeah. to. It has to be everything about you, right? Yeah, I can't I can't do porn then. Porn's not about the guy. No. Yeah, about the porn's about. The <laughs> 
if I do porn, I'll be like, by the way. It's me who's doing <laughs> yes, <the job. laughs> yes. I'll tell the camera guys what to do. <laughs> pan up, pan up. Stop showing. <laughs> pan up. No, but there actually is porn for guys. Like only for guys. So only guys in there. But it's not like gay porn. For, no, 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 no. It's not gay porn. But it's like the camera works and everything is for the guys. That They shoot the guys mainly. And then there's a girl for sub. Oh, yeah. who, who watches that? Uh, those wifeys. Oh. Yeah, the, the madams. I watches. didn't know that. Yeah, okay, the young okay. guys. <laughs> I see. I'm so learning a lot. A okay. okay. <laughs> I'm too old now, Maria. <laughs> I'm too old now. I can't maintain it. You cannot maintain. I can't maintain. I need to, like, I don't know. Who do I even think of? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who to think of. Oh, okay. Uh, but anyways, you didn't want to go back to Canada. No. And you so finished high school. Japan. You yeah, finished university. High, high, high school. school. High okay. school. I finished high school. And I did different kind of jobs. Yeah, like that's how shit Canada is, you know? People would rather do porn than go back to Canada. <laughs> so get your shit together. Give me my visa. Okay, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, you didn't want to go back to Canada. Yeah. So I started working in different places and host clubs, like convenience stores, teaching English, any ki- every kind of jobs. And then I ran into this girl who works in the porn industry and works at the host clubs also for a part-time job and like 15 16 years ago we used they were she was told she was telling me that they go to guam they go to hawaii for shooting and for like pictorials and interviews in la wow so i was like oh my god that's such a like a you know big thing for a 17 year old 18 year old to handle so i just like thought if I do porn first and then became famous, that's going to be great, right? Like, mm-hmm. I might be successful. But the other choice that I had was, like, becoming a model or, like, you know, those stuff. But I was like, if you do a model, you know, talent, and then you drop off and you go to porn, that's kind of, like, different. How is it different? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. So model, a lot of people start out modeling, right? Yeah. Then and then, they then go I don't porn. want to end up in a porn star. Like, nothing's left there. Like, uh. You cannot get famous from there. But then if you start from the scratch and then you're a porn star and then you get your name famous enough to go to different countries, I thought that was like faster or better to get famous. I don't know. I, don't, I, I was crazy. I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I, guess. <laughs> I don't know. You're still crazy now, I think. I, I guess so. Yeah. But then it worked, right? It all worked out. It worked out. It worked out. Yeah. You're one of the few famous Japanese porn stars uh, for like non-Japanese speaking people. And then, okay, porn worked out for you. Yeah. That's really good. Yes. And then, but you wanted to open a bar, right? Couldn't you open a bar after you graduated from high school? Well, not exactly, because if I, I was too young. I was like 18, right? You can't own business in 18 and you cannot like legally do anything. Uh. So I had to wait until I was like plus 20. And I didn't really know if I wanted to do it in Japan. Also, I wanted to travel around the world. And I got to do that when I was in the industry because you get like events or like hosting like clubs in different countries. So if someone wants to open a bar, if that's what their goal, would you tell them, if you want to give advice to them, would you tell them, if you want to open a bar, go do porn, do porn? first? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> get all the not. customers. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? Are you saying that's not the best way to open a bar? To do porn first? <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe do bar first and then porn. Bar first know. and then porn. And then people porn. will be like, you know, you have your own small group of fans already. Oh. Yeah, so it depends, I think. I did girl. go to your bar. Yes. A few days ago. My. Your Japanese one. Japanese the Tokyo one. one. Yeah. And it's in the most sketchy <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll film a little video. Film, yeah. film some, a little yeah, something yeah, for yeah. us when you walk later. And it's in a place called Kabukicho, which is yeah. the red light district of Tokyo. Yes. And I'm like, of course it would be, because, you know, that's where the porn stars hang out, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like it wouldn't um, wouldn't surprise me wouldn't yeah. surprise me but then i went up there and i went into a bar it's a st- small little place yes very small and then it's just five single guys around the bar counter area right you're wearing a kimono for some reason do you yeah, always wear a I, kimono no, no 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 i had an event that day before uh, my bar yes. i had a sushi event so i went to this uh sushi restaurant that my friend owns uh-huh. and we did a collaboration and i did like I made sushi for my customers, like from oh, the scratch. Oh, wow. Cutting fish and then I like making sushi, you know. Multi-talented. Yes. yes. Nice. That's why I was wearing kimono. Uh, so from there, we all came to my bar. I thought it was like a fetish thing. 
It's like Thursday is Maria Ozawa in a kimono Wearing night. Kimono. Yeah. <laughs> Friday oh swimsuit. God. Swimsuit. Yeah. Do you do that? Do you do you like wear different things for people? Um, sometimes, like for events, yes. For example, summer we do like a bikini bikini day or uh. like a kimono day. Because the bar before I went to the Philippines that I had in Shinjuku was bigger. Like it was like about, about this size. What I did was I bought a small jacuzzi mm-hmm. for the customers to chill, hang out with the girls. You had a little jacuzzi? Yeah. So the girls wear like bikini or any kind of swimsuit. And then the customers, when they like buy champagne or anything expensive, they get to like take pictures with us or go in the jacuzzi with us and just like chill. That's smart. Which was really, really successful. Yeah, yeah. it was nice. You have a good business mind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but then why, why do you downsize from that bar to this current bar? It was really small. I decided to go to the Philippines. And then when I moved to the Philippines, I wasn't expecting to come back to Japan. Yes. So I sold everything that I had here. Uh. And my, I sold my condo, my bar, everything. But then because of the pandemic, two years ago, I had to come back to Japan. I see. So yeah, I had to rent a new place, which is like you know my the one that you came mm-hmm. small, but still, not it bad. It works. It, it works. works. It works. So I I went to your bar because we we initially wanted to film there. Yeah. So I wanted to scout out the location, and the moment I stepped in, and I was speaking English, and all of the five single guys just started staring at me, and there was one guy. I took a video of this, so I put the video in. Mm-hmm. There was one guy. He was wearing a suit and a hat, <laughs> and that guy. He just looks like. <laughs> Like the boss of the bar. <laughs> the boss of the bar. You see the Yakuza bar. or something because he just looked at me and he was smoking. Yeah, the cigar, right? Yeah, he was smoking a cigar. So he's he's a character in the he bar. He is, he is. Yeah. He's one of the oldest uh, guests that we have in our uh, the bar. He's like 70 plus, I think. And okay. he drinks a lot. I mean, he drinks tequila, he drinks whiskeys, he drinks like bourbon. He, wow. Wow, right? And, and he's 70 he's 70 plus 70 something what's his story is he like single married he he said he used to be married twice he has like few kids but he hasn't seen them for like over 30 years or something <sighs> i know right tough life but is, he, is he a fan of your work is that how he found out about you or he just I think so. Well, first he came to the bar that I used to have in Kabukicho. Mm-hmm. And then he was just like, he kept quiet for like, I don't know, a few, few months. And then he suddenly opened up and saying like, yeah, I kind of like noticed your work. And then you're kind of like my type. And then that was like 10 years ago. So I was like 20 something. And, and he's he like 60. 60. And I was like, hi, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta give him a chance you know <laughs> 60 <laughs> 60 plus really so I was like okay hey just ask him to write a will <laughs> and then <laughs> if the will's right okay. oh my then you gotta God. get with him right <laughs> the life could be set and you just feed him more and more alcohol then he and one then day he just, just collapses like <laughs> and then you own a house in Tokyo oh, wow great with the bar that yeah. comes with it see I'm just what? You you don't need me to teach you how to run your business, no. but you should have got with the guy, man. Oh my god, he's still into you after all these years. After he is loyal. He is very loyal. He is loyal. He perfect boyfriend material. Loyal, loyal. drinks a lot. About to die soon. Perfect about to die soon. husband material. How lucky am I? Yeah, is he rich? Does he have money? I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he pay the bar tab? <laughs> <laughs> should have got with him see really? 10 years yeah 10 years. Really? yeah think about it next time you see him next time okay. what's his name Tommy. 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 Tommy 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 next time you see Tommy just treat Tommy. him a little nicer uh, really you know, I should Tommy. Like give him more alcohol yeah I hear are you still into me let's go on a date Tommy let's go get sushi together Ooh. yeah <laughs> and some shots later yeah oh, oh invite him back to your place <laughs> Listen, if he has money and yeah. his kids don't talk to him, who is he going to leave his money to, right? You. You're the <laughs> only one. No wife, no kids. No wife, no kids. Yeah. So put me in your will, Tommy, and I'll do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. Let's watch my DVDs together, Together Tommy. again. <laughs> <laughs> again. And I'll do what I do on a DVD, but to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he might just die then. <laughs> <laughs> Get the will ready first, okay? <laughs> Get the will ready. 
not the worst way to go. Yeah. If you die during sex, not the worst way to go for mm. a guy. We'll fucking go. We'll go to your funeral and we'll be like, yeah, he's yeah. a fucking legend, man. He went all yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he died fucking a porn star. <laughs> Dude, that is. I would love to go like that, Maria. So if I get old, you know. <laughs> okay. Find Just me one of your friends. Hit me up and friends. I'll get you. Yeah, find me some of your friends. <laughs> In real life, you had a relationship with someone from the Philippines, right? Yes. That didn't work out because of COVID. Yeah. Okay, but in the real life, real life sex and porn sex. Okay. What's the difference? Performance. Everything is so different. I mean. But I have to perform too in regular sex, you know, to to kind of. Well, yeah. You have to be enthusiastic, right? You can't you I can just be going down on her and be like. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm getting tired. Checking here. my watch. <laughs> <That's so bad. laughs> checking my phone. <laughs> So it's still a performance to oh, some of course, extent. Of course, well, yeah. I and mean, I'm sure a lot of women I've been with fake it too, which I appreciate because, you know, it's good well, for my Well, don't guys fake it too. Sometimes you See? do. Yeah, sometimes it's getting late and I'm like, I'm trying to I go to bed. I just finish it. Yeah, yeah, just, oh, oh, oh okay, done, baby, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call you at Uber. <laughs> bye. Oh, my God, <laughs> off you go. Yes. Not everybody gets to stay, Maria. Okay, okay. Not everybody gets to stay. Okay, that's good. But yes, for you. For me. How is it different? Um, well, f- okay, so for porn, it's totally different because everything is like acting, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying 100% acting, but then mostly like you don't do all those positionings at home. Like, you know, those yeah, at home it's, it's three styles. positions maximum. Three? At yeah. Home. Yeah. Oh, wow. Me on top, wow. her on top, doggy style. Oh. <laughs> The basic, ones. the basic ones. <laughs> the basic ones. I mean, sure. Maybe like the first couple times you have sex with a woman, I go maybe a bit more adventurous. We okay. use the wall. We do a few things standing uh, up, yeah. whatever. You know, maybe some stuff sideways, mm-hmm. maybe reverse cowgirl, you know. But then you start dating yes, them for a while. Yes, you're like, all right. Like, all right, baby. Let's uh, chop, chop. I got to <laughs> gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> chop, chop. Okay, five minutes. <laughs> yes. Position A, position B, position C towel for your face you know that's oh my <laughs> god yeah well see i'm very vi- i always i'm very open but all my listeners mm. know everything about me so you do yeah. crazy positions in yeah the performance work, right yeah and so when i go home i just want to like relax yes and just like be normal so what once. is your normal yeah. positions so just like very 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 basic so like mine then three something like that not okay. even three sometimes just, just one like, yeah just one <laughs> just like <laughs> you just lie there just like, let's get over honey i'm tired so i did 75 <laughs> positions this morning oh my god just, just finished jesus <laughs> well that's when i was still in the industry now that i'm not it's like not only well not only one but maybe like two three sometimes four but who four but what? not like aggressive helicopters or whatever <laughs> you call it <laughs> what's a helicopter no, like my friend no my friend okay so sh- actually she's not even a porn star but she told me one day she's like oh no you know maria i did this position it's like it's it's a helicopter and i'm like helicopter how d- did you spin or how did you do it <laughs> and then he's like i was like spinning around on top of it and i'm like how what how do you like spin a corkscrew around? like opening a bottle of wine right Just i'm like how how in the you should become a porn star, not me. Yeah. <laughs> you know all these tricks. The guy's dick is broken. I know, The right? dick is twisted. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay. I could get tips from my friends. Helicopter. Helicopter. That's what she called it, though. You should try it next time. Adventure. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. You should try. I'm, I'm too old now, Maria. In my 30s. The oh. older you get, the fewer positions you attempt. True. That's <laughs> <Because> so true. <laughs> sometimes you don't want to throw your back out, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I wake up and I slept wrong and my neck hurts. Oh, my God. So no helicopter for me. No helicopter. If I can injure myself while sleeping. You <laughs> could die from yes. having sex. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, just the basics, the vanilla shit. Even reverse cowgirl scares me. The, the angle they sit down. And then it just like bends the dick. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, so I've removed that position ouch. from my vocabulary. From your, okay. You know, no more, no, no more. more. So when you were dating someone and then you work in the industry, mm-hmm. would you have days where you like work in the morning, then at night have sex with the with your boyfriend? That's um, a lot. Sometimes, sometimes. Whew. But, but some, you know, I had this crazy guy. 
um well he knew who i was i was in the industry he was like okay with me going to the film and it has to be okay right yeah. that was my job i can't yeah. just quit for him right yeah so i came home i what i used to do is like i showered at the studio and then like put all like my makeup off and everything and then i would go home just to like be you know successful and then he would be like ew and something like that and then he would be like oh you smell so bad and i'm like i showered like three times how can i smell bad and then he's like yeah but you know i think it's stuff. his uh all in the mind so that was like those kind of was like really really tricky yeah but some would be like very very mean and he's like you're cheating outside so i get to cheat too so i was like really <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Your cheating puts money on the table. It's not I cheating, know. first of all. Uh, first of all, it's, it's not work. cheating. Yeah. It's work. And I'm making m- more money than you. And then how dare you, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're learning new skills that you could use on the guy. True. Right? Be, yeah. yeah. But I guess, I don't know. When you're young, right? Yeah. You got you to gotta, you gotta st- stand, stand your ground. Stick up for yourself. Yeah. So was it ever hard dating, working in this? Sometimes, yeah, those weird guys, or they pretend that they don't know, and then afterwards they'll be like, you know what, I used to watch your DVD, and I was kind of mm-hmm. like a fan, but don't get me wrong, and I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, you should have told me this way before. Would you no date- wonder mm-hmm. you were doing this lots of positions that I don't <laughs> really like. You were watching my video. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no wonder you're doing the helicopter. Yeah, no wonder yeah. you know all these positions. I was like, okay, babe, you know everything that I kind of like do at work. And then yeah, I. But that I was for my it. fourth album. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> yeah, and then he just like randomly told me that. I'm like, okay. Okay, so if I ever get to sleep with a porn star, mm. it will just be missionary. Just <laughs> missionary. I'll be extra vanilla. No going down on them. No going you know. down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that I do like. That is fun. I oh, do great. like yeah, doing yeah. that, yeah. And I feel like it's nice to treat the woman True. good, you know. Yes. Some people grow up in a patri- more patriarchal society, you know, more sexist society, especially mm-hmm. in Asia, right? And then I have friends who are like their boy they dated in Asia, their boyfriends never go down on them. Yeah, yeah. that's what I heard, like Japanese guys, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I heard I'm they like, don't wow. like wow. I know it's like wow. And then when they hang out with me, I'm, they they tell me I've never done this, never done that. I'm like, oh shit, now there's a lot of pressure. Wow. Because it's like, ooh, I need to make <laughs> sure she has a good time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also really easy to to the bar is really low because I've never experienced anything right. like that before. Yeah, so yeah. the moment I go down there, I'm like, they think I'm a superstar or oh, something. But wow. I'm, like, I'm very average, oh, you know, wow. very average in the West. But then because I never experienced a guy going down on them. Oh, like, okay. oh this is new. Wow. Right? You got to go down on your woman, guys. Yes. Japanese guys, come on. Japanese guys, please, please, please. Yeah. Why, 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 why is it like that? I have no in idea. In porn, guys go down on the woman, right? Of course, yeah, they do. But it's weird, don't you think? Guys Japanese guys girls. eat sea urchin. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you eat sea, if you eat uni, you can eat pussy, okay? And all those like sushi, whatever. Weird fish. Weird fish. Blowfish and weird yeah. tofu. Natto, the Natto. stinkiest bean. Yes, the assorted beans. Yeah, so if you can eat natto and uni, you can eat you pussy. You should definitely go, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's the same thing, I think. Natto's worse. Natto, Natto worse. smells more than a Natto. pussy. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Natto's worse. I can't, I can't, I can't even stomach Natto. It's too much. I give me pussy any day. Pussy Ooh. any day. <laughs> New hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> pussy any day. P A D. Natto smells like. Okay. And this applies to dicks too. Like if you say you just went jogging, you haven't washed, and then it's been you sweat a lot, that it smells, and right, it, the, the, your genitals can smell. But natto smells worse than that. Yeah. Natto smells worse than pussy that's just been jogging. I want to ask, like, when you because you did porn before, right? Mm-hmm. What are your DM slides on Instagram like? Do you get a lot of creepy guys sliding in there? Like dick pics. Do you get dick pics? Yeah. A lot of dick pics. Yes, a lot. Like. Not anymore. It's getting lesser and lesser. But then before, like when Instagram, when I just started Instagram or Facebook even, uh-huh. they would be like, oh, can I like, do I have a chance? Can you rape my dick? Or how do you think of me? Blah, blah, blah. Wait, this rape that. your dick or rape your rape, dick? Rape, oh, rape, rape. 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 Not like, rape. It's like, okay. That you would be into, <laughs> right? Like, okay, what's your address? <laughs> 
So Maria Ozawa is into raping your dick, no. people. Send a dick pic <laughs> and put the address and on the back side of it and then she'll, she'll show up. Ding dong. <laughs> rape your dick. How much would you charge for a dick rape session? <laughs> How much would you charge? I'll pay them. You'll pay them? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Our videographers and uh, my producers taking notes now. I don't know. <laughs> now they're taking notes. <laughs> Okay, so you you rate their Rates, dicks. Yes, they're like, can you rate? Are they ever nice those dicks? You know what? Not exactly. The mm. nice ones, they never, you know, they don't need to send their dick pics. They yeah. already know. So the ones with the weird ones, <laughs> <laughs> they're all like, what do you think about mine? Or this and that. Would you like, you know, come see me or get married and stuff like that? So I was like, ah. Uh. What what are the weird weirdest ones? How are dicks weird? I've only seen one, my own, and Couple. one other person one because other. I've done some more adventurous sex stuff, you know, oh. more than more than one person at a time. It's and like I had to perform too. I performed the most. I, I, I've really? done a foursome before. And three, I did threes and fours, and I realized when there's other people around, I perform more. So I, 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 oh. I know where you're coming from. So me. it's better for your. Because they have, they have mirrors as well, wow. so you kind of kind of the posture is so important. So you're professional now. And then, <laughs> thank you. I try, <laughs> but. You know when I when I like okay, it's, it's like when I film my stand up right, mm-hmm. and I see how I move on stage, and I realize oh that action can be bigger. Okay. So my hand, if I'm trying to stretch my hand, I I'll do a full mm-hmm. stretch instead mm-hmm. of this. You know, it's the same with performing in bed, right? If you see a mirror, you want to like th- oh yeah yeah make yeah, the yeah. action a little bigger, a little more camera friendly. That's that's what little I know. I'm sure you know a lot more about this. I don't know why I'm mansplaining <laughs> sex performance to you. <laughs> <laughs> But I see where you're coming from, Maria. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, you put more effort in. Yeah. You carry yeah. the woman for a bit, little bit longer, oh. even though they're heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you try your best. Yes. yes. Asian women are usually on the smaller side. True. Compared true, true. to Western women. So I carry it's a Western easier. woman. I got to go to the gym th- in the morning first. All right, I got to. So you just imagine about them and then go like. Oh. Like a barbell. Oh, my God. <laughs> just imagine a fucking a barbell. <laughs> 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 but what are the weirdest dicks you've seen on your DM slides? And this is not an invitation to slide to Maria's DMs your dick pics, all right? No, no. My fans are, are going to do that. <laughs> Some of them are disgusting people. I'll screenshot and send it to you then. Yeah, okay, what? sure. <laughs> your pack fans them, are. Tag them. <laughs> yeah, tag them. I have a lot of single, lonely, disgusting fans. Really? My fans on, y- on YouTube, send you? 80% guys. Do they send you mm. pictures? Uh, I've gotten a few dick pics. I've gotten a few woman pics. Oh, women. No, those those women, are nice. Yes, too. Those are nice. Yeah, I got women's too. Really? They'll be like butt naked, and then they'll be like, "How do you think about my body?" Or some are like lesbians, and they're like, "Um, you know, I I just want to like eat you out." Oh. Straight. And then what? Are you into Are you into the women too? I used to. I mean, like I've never really dated one, but then mm-hmm. you know, I had sometimes. Okay. Back in the days. And in work, definitely, right? Yeah. But then, you know, at the end of the day, women didn't work for me. Uh, so, oh well. It's okay. It's okay. You know, women didn't work for you, but you know what works? Like four black dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done those <laughs> big gangbang sequences? Um, yes, actually. But it wasn't a four. It was like <laughs> three. <laughs> was, that was a lot. I was like, I'm like that's enough. <laughs> You know, I I had like uh, I had like a nightmare. The really? <laughs> I was like I was like cr- crying, and my dream was like, oh my god, it's enough. <laughs> What's that like? I can only imagine. It is a lot, like a lot to take in. I mean, like the sizes are like I've never seen such like <laughs> huge. <laughs> but it was it an enjoyable experience. Yeah, it was definitely a good experience, but I I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay with agents. <laughs> I'm okay with agents. Yep. All <laughs> my listeners are very happy right now. <laughs> so tell us some, some weird dick experiences. Weird dick experiences. What, they're bent? Yeah. You know what? I, it's always like really weird. How, why, do, why do some like mostly agents slanted? Like, it's like slants in like an L shape? Like that. Or ooh, like a curve. Kind of. It's so weird. Like one time I had it, the, the, the shoe. And then it's like, like, like that. And I'm like, how do I 
Yeah, like, they have to fuck you from around you... the wall or something. I know, it's like, corner. is there like a way to squeeze in? I'm like, what? <laughs> that was really, really weird. Yeah. This, by the way, this episode is going to get demonetized on YouTube so oh hard. God. Really? That I think so. But it's okay. It's not all about the money, you know? Oh. When, how often do I get to talk to porn stars, right? True, true, true. I want to be, I'm very happy to be the comedian porn stars watch. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to get more porn stars as fans because I have too many male fans right now. Too many. I'm. I, we have probably the same fan base. Yeah. <laughs> 80% guys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? My fans probably have weird dicks too. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they send you dick pics though? I don't know. Oh. Guys are gross. Maybe they're gay guys. Ah, they're know? into you. Maybe ha- they thought they have a chance. Yeah, they don't. They Sorry. don't. But the lady pics, I will take those. Oh, okay. You know, we're all consenting adults here. True, true. As true. long as you're above 18. Yes, above you 18. You know, always 18. Yes, of you know. course. Is there a cutoff age for you when it comes to dating? Um, Tommy. Tommy, 70. 70. Maybe a little younger, <laughs> then it's fine. <laughs> My God, 73. 73. I'll, I'll be a little bit scared, though, to have sex with, like, over 70. Like, what if, you know, what if they really go all the way? And it's like, what am I going to do there alone, you know? <laughs> to do, or do they even come? I don't know. Like, it's all a mystery. Maybe they just come dust. Just <laughs> <laughs> like water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. That don't is a good know. question. I don't know also. So what's next for you? Just running the bar. Running the bar. What else is running coming? Running the lounge. What's next? You did acting know. before this, right? Yeah, Regular acting. actually I did like few movies. In, one in the Philippines, oh. few in Japan, and one in Taiwan, I think. Oh, uh, okay. That was fun. It's all horror. I don't know why, but I always get casted in horror movies. And I end up hmm. dying. <laughs> <laughs> People just want to see porn stars die. I guess. I think. <laughs> okay. Do you like acting? I find it very difficult. It is. Like, know. to remember all the lines and, like, acting in front of the camera. Well, acting in front of the camera, it's not that bad. The lines and all the, like, you know, the characters that you have to, like, build in and all the time that you have to take. Yeah. It's really, really hard. Whereas if you do porn, there's no lines where it's just squeaking. It's just, just squeaking. <laughs> just squeaking. There's and one it's line. all over. Did they, did they tell you what sounds to make? No, they don't. They just like, they say do whatever that's like feels right for you. They just like, whatever's fine. Yeah. And then I guess all the girls ended up squeaking. <laughs> the fans love it. Why not? Right? <laughs> that's funny. And then and acting, I find acting tough too because like. Have you ever? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Bits and pieces. Oh, wow. Yeah. And comedy stuff. Uh, a couple s- small roles. Small roles. And But I have my own projects I'm pursuing that will have me acting in a bigger role. Oh. Uh, but as a stand-up, I'm always myself on stage, right? Mm-hmm. So acting is a little trickier. You have to play a different character. Mm. You know? True. So you have to like think about the character's motivations, what they do, why he would say certain things, how he would say certain things. You see, like a confident guy. You see, mm. like a more shy, shyer guy. You know, so that's all the decisions I have to make. And stand up, I just go up and talk shit, as you've seen, <laughs> right? I think important is is there much of like you need to play a persona? You know, um, yeah, kind like of. Like in the Western world now, the popular genre is like step bro, step sis. Oh, really? <laughs> porn, yeah. Oh, so okay. Um, I th- it really depends on the girl. I mean, if she's more of like, you know, those idolized girls, mm-hmm. they have to keep up with their characters. Uh. Even though they have like an event or Twitter or Instagram, whatever, they have to be that character. They cannot be themselves, like truly themselves, because the fans will be like, you know, heartbroken. So looking at that, I feel like really, oh my God, that's like the hardest thing that you can ever do. Like you have to like 24-7 acting. Wow. Yeah, right? I can never. Yeah. What about you? You're just your s- yourself. Yeah, whatever, right? Yeah. I can. I can do that. <laughs> no. Good. Good, right? Be I'm yourself lucky. is better. The fans are really nice. Yeah. They're just like, be yourself. So I was like, okay. Uh, do you do OnlyFans now? Is that the future? OnlyFans? Um, there's lots of girls who's doing OnlyFans. I'll try. Yeah, why not? You'll try? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah. there's a market for Fanta. it. Yeah, OnlyFans. It's yeah. really big, right? Everybody's yeah. doing OnlyFans now. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. And it's homemade porn you di- direct to the, your fans. True. So you don't have to pay uh, the studio. Yeah. yeah, what's the pay for porn like in Japan? Is it good? Do you feel For the girls? Yeah. 
Um, it used to be really, really good. Okay. But I heard it's getting lesser and lesser. And now in Japan, we have like a new problem towards the AV industry. What's the There's problem? like this new rule because of the new era or something. They're saying they might cancel the industry <gasps> itself. And it's really a big problem right now. Like everybody's like tweeting about it every day. So they're like hashtag save porn or something like that. Oh no. Why are they I canceling have, it? I have no idea. I don't know. Such a big part of Japanese culture. I know, right? The bukakis, you know? That's what. The <laughs> 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 Which is a scene Maria has done many times. Oh. I'm sure. <laughs> have you? Bukakis. Have you done the bukkakis? Yes. Everybody in Japan, we have to go through that, even though you feel like it or not. Really? That like that is their interview process. No, but then <laughs> no, but then everybody's like you go in into the, the sequence, interview right? room and it's twelve guys. You have to do bukkake or else you won't be famous. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody does that. Everybody, mostly everybody does that. Uh, but the worst, not worst, but then me, it was just like bukkake, right? Just stand there and it's finished. Some girls has to do like a hundred swallows or something like that like every they put it in a cup and she just like rinse it up and i was like what no that's intense like i i can't do that oof i know right that's a lot a hundred that's like a that's like a venti starbucks <laughs> <laughs> that's now a I big caramel food. macchiato you know oh no now i can't go to starbucks <laughs> i'm gonna think all about that <laughs> no <laughs> just don't don't get traumatized. Yeah, I won't. Just just yeah. you know, the bukkake was easy. The bukkake was easier. Yeah, you just stand there. Yeah. How many guys does it take to qualify it as a bukkake? At least four. <sighs> no more. At more? least ten. At least ten. At least ten. What is I mean, the obsession? There, there's like one on one or two, two three maybe. But then if you're gonna make a whole sequence or like a whole video out of it, you mm-hmm. need around ten to twenty. 20, 20, 30. The more, the better, I guess. Yeah. So it's like a small, you make a, like a small pool out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some. I'm like, wow. It's how you put in the jacuzzi at your old bar. <laughs> no, what's this like slimy stuff? Oh. <laughs> Ew, yeah. And then, <laughs> do the guys get paid for those scenes? Yes, but very cheap. I heard the guys, they only get like, because um, the guys who does bukake aren't the mainstream AV guys. They're like the extra guys. Uh. So they only get paid like 50,000 yen. 50,000 yen. That's 30 pounds. Something. Like 45 US dollars. Yeah, yeah. 45, yeah. 45 wow. Pounds. So that's cheap. But imagine going to different sets every day for like two or three sets. So you do that like two or three weeks. Then that's not bad. Wait, so guys can just... That's a career for some people. Sometimes, yeah. If that, if it's three their, times a day. Yeah, if it's their full-time career or they're like a professional porn star, male porn star, they perform in the morning, one in the noon, in the evening. So they have like three times a day and they do that every other day. That's kind of good earning. Sounds a bit painful to me. Know, three times. You get hard three times. You have to come three times. Yes. Whew. I don't think I have what it takes to be a porn star. I just I'll, I'll just be a, like a, a home cook. I'll just home be a home cook. cook. <laughs> <laughs> Which you like cooking too, right? I love That's cooking. Like, oh I shit. love cooking. Let's talk about cooking then. We okay, okay. Let's talk about cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating. I never knew about. Um, I hope you get paid more than a bukkake, guys. You know, for for one of your Me scenes. Me before? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, okay, yes, good, yes, good, yes, good, yes. good, 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 uh, good. But yes, you like cooking too. Yes, I love so that, cooking. That's good. Okay. You should make a fried rice video and then oh Uncle Roger can review it. I know you're going to like <laughs> talk shit about it. <laughs> yeah. What made you start doing YouTube? Why did you want to do it? Um, it was because of the pandemic. Like after I came back to Japan, after the pandemic, I didn't really have things to do because I was like, you know, I didn't know what to do. I sold my bar and then it takes, it took like six months to get a new one, new place. Mm-hmm. So I, w- I didn't have anything to do and I was like, oh, why not? do youtube because it was like kind of trending that time yeah because of the quarantine everything yeah nobody can go out mm-hmm. so i asked my manager the girl that you met at your place uh so and then she's like yeah let's just like do it for fun and then see how it goes and then if there's lots of views let's make it official and that's how we started and it went off really good i think okay. lots of viewers people liked it they're all like 
um, they can't travel, so we went to like different places of like Japan, like go to Asakusa, Shibuya, Ikebukuro, and then talk about those places, uh. eat different food, convenience food, like you know those cup noodles, those stuff, small stuff first. You should do a video where you react to your DMs. Really? Yeah. Oh. I think they'll, they'll hit hard, you know. I read my DMs, you know. Oh. And then you just you show the dick pics, but blur blurred out. I blur it out. It's yeah. like oh, this is one is like oh, it's know. hooked. It has a hook. It's uh, <laughs> the colors. Uh. <laughs> the color. <laughs> what color? <laughs> it's always like a deep purpley. <laughs> purpley. Yeah. yeah. It depends. It, it depends. depends. It you depends. can review your old porn clips. Maybe. You, know? you can start a Pornhub channel. Don't, you can't review your old porn on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you start your own Pornhub channel. I think people like to see the behind the scenes of porn, you, you know? You think? Yeah. Oh, that, might fu- that might be fun. Yeah, so you can talk about, oh, when I did this position. Oh, this it was like this. I was thinking about something else. Yeah. <laughs> this I was guy thinking about other bad. <laughs> Do they, some of them? Sometimes. Oh, Sometimes. boy. And then you have to pretend to not notice it. Yeah. To be professional. Yeah. Oh, being a porn star is hard. It is hard. I can't do that, man. How many times do you shoot a week? Once or twice. I know. Once or twice a month. Once or twice a month. It depends on the girl and that girl's contract also. Like, that girl, if she's like, you know, it depends on wherever she's like tied the contract with. It's like once a week or twice a week, once a month, twice a month, Mm -hmm. depending on your strength also, I guess. (laughs) Strength. (laughs) (laughs) There must be so much maintenance that goes into it, right? You have to hit the gym and buy the makeup. Yeah, buy the makeup. And okay, describe an average average porn set. How many video guys? How many sound guys? One, maybe like five or six staff in one shooting. Uh huh. And then you said you had a. There's always a woman taking oh photos. Oh yeah, the camera. Yeah, stills yeah. Thumbnails. Steals. Yeah, thumbnails, and all oh, the pictorials. And there's this makeup artist always stand by. And then whenever there's a cut, she comes rushing, and then they're like, "Don't move!" Like. <laughs> get your like sweat out and then the guys also and then okay start <laughs> do they put makeup on the dicks no 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 i mean it's gonna like you know get ruined anyways <laughs> once it's like you yeah know. if you're in the scene yeah <laughs> it's gonna get ruined. <laughs> yeah. oh that sounds like fun yeah yeah i'm glad you you enjoyed that career yeah it was a good experience i met to i get to meet lots of people went to different places like guam did you end up going to guam yes i did i did it was really really nice but the funny thing is after maybe like two or three other shots that were uh took after me they got caught filming porn at this random beach and then oh. they all got suspended, and now I think they all can't go in the states anymore. That's what I heard. You're not allowed to film porn in Guam or something. In the beach, like, cause it wasn't like it was like I don't know where they shot it. Maybe it was like a private beach or something. I I don't know the details, but I all I heard is I they got caught and then they got in real big trouble, and now they can't like go inside or something. So I was like, Oof. I was lucky. Yeah, you were like one of the last. Yeah, the last people who filmed in Guam. Okay, great. So the bar is going good. Go check out Maria's bar. Yes. It's called Bar Drunk. Drunk. In Kabukicho. It's not on Google Maps. No. Because uh, I tried searching for it, I couldn't find it. It's uh, (laughs) it's a little bit sketchy. No. But when I walked into it, I was like. Oh yeah, this this does feel like a porn star's bar. You no, know, it has, it has it. good character. Because it's kind of dark. And yeah, kind of like dark, kind of seedy. Yeah, five old single guys, <laughs> not talking to each other. They weren't like friendly. They were just yeah. drinking by themselves. Uh, so yeah, go go check out Maria's bar. If you speak Japanese, I think if you speak English, that will be a little bit intimidating. People will stare. The at you. other, the you'll other meet Tommy. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, he's kind of like friendly, you know. Oh. If you if you like drinking and you like cigars, or if you're into whiskey. He he really will like you. He'll be Shit. like talking to you and he's like, he likes this and that. Okay. And he'll give you cigars. Listen, Maria, I like whiskey. So I'm going to get with Tommy. Oh, yeah. You'll I'm going to take his will. Yes. You know, you I'll be like, hey, Tommy, if Maria doesn't want you, that's always me. That's always me. You know, Oh my God. I can try to do what she does. Let's, <laughs> let's watch her DVDs together. Together. Tommy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Where can people find you, Maria? 
where 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 well actually YouTube, i'm everywhere instagram. oh okay youtube i do youtube instagram mm. it's maria Facebook. ozawa 0108 yes maria okay. ozawa uh, maria dot ozawa 0108 that's mm -hmm. the instagram uh youtube maria ozawa uh instagram uh twitter you got hacked right because you used to have a blue yeah. tick i yes and then i had like lots of followers but it got hacked twice well, it got hacked once, and then the second one, it was suspended for some reason. And I what was like, post? okay, lots of people the hate Bukaki me. The Bukaki scene. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no. It was, I don't know what. Maybe it was like one of those like casino ads that I had to promote. Uh, so I think they banned it, or I got like, you know, somebody called out, or I don't know. Wow. Yeah. So now I'm on my third account. If this one gets uh, hacked, and now I can't get a blue tick anymore, <sighs> I am going to give up Instagram. No, don't do that. Mm, okay. You're going to plug your OnlyFans. Yeah. Right? You're going to start your OnlyFans. Okay. I will be a subscriber. Oh. I'll try. Give, just give me a free membership. The Maria. free membership, you? yeah. Pornhub follows me on Instagram. Pornhub doesn't even follow you. I right? know, right? <laughs> I was like, how can that be? I'm more in the world, in the scene, oh than you are. Oh, my God. I know. I was like, what? You were saying that in your show, and I was yes. like, what? Yep. And, and then you checked. It's real. I know. I did. Yep. You're a pro now. I'm a pro. You are. I'm a pro. So thank you very much, Maria. Thank you also. And I think Google searches for Maria Ozawa Bukaki is gonna spike no. up right after this gets no. released. <laughs> you gotta pro be proud of your work, Maria. Be proud of your work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Bukaki. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Bye.